Hi everyone, this is Minghao Jian. I'm currently an undergraduate student studying in University of Illinois Urbanization Pen. I will be presenting our work, Taxo Enrich, super, Self-Supervised Taxonomy Completion about Structured Semantic Group Digits. The whole presentation will be divided into these four parts. I will move on to the introduction part first. So first of all, I will uh, introduce the definitions of our taxonomy. The taxonomy in general is a directed a cyclic graph where each node in the taxonomy represents the concept node and each edge, the parent, child, parent node and child node represents the hierarchical relationship in the taxonomy. And this relationship express, expresses P, the parent node is the most specific concept that is more general than child node. And here is an example of the taxonomy from the Microsoft academic graph computer science data set. And this is the taxonomy which uh, represents the hierarchical relationship between each concept node in the CS domain. And here is the uh, definition of our taxonomy completion. Before that, I will introduce why do we need to do the taxonomy completions. Even though we have many existing large uh, taxonomies, but we still need to classify the newly emerged concepts into, the, into these taxonomies. Uh, because there are many uh, new emerging concepts from the many downstream tasks. And to do this classification, the human supervision is very labor extensive and also time consuming. So this is, uh, th that's why we need to do the automatic taxonomy construction and also the taxonomy completion. For the definition taxonomy completion, we assume that we are given a query concept and we will add this concept into the existing taxonomy which is to find the most likely hypernym query and hyponym triplet for each new query node, which is to find the most reasonable candidate positions for, it, for this query concept. On the right graph, we can see that uh, given the existing taxonomy, if we want to insert the integrate circuit and tensor core and put out these three nodes into the taxonomy, uh, the most suitable positions will be represented here. And integrated circuit will be, uh, should be considered as a child of hardware and a parent of GPU. And these two nodes will be inserted as the lift node. There are also uh, many works along the line of taxonomy expansion, which only discovers the hypernym for the query node. And the uh, taxonomy completion task will discover both the hypernym and hyponym, uh, hyponym uh, concept nodes in the taxonomy. So in general, taxonomy, taxonomy completion is a, a general case of the taxonomy expansion and more complex and difficult. Here is an uh, overview of, of our taxonomy framework uh, to do the one to pair matching from the current node to the candidate positions. Uh, I will introduce these four modules uh, part by part. Uh, in general, we will uh, generate the embeddings from the uh, semantic and uh, structure features from the taxonomy. And then for this embeddings, we will do the uh, matching to the candidate positions. The first module is the taxonomy contextualized embeddings uh, part. There are many previous methods that uh, generate the embeddings of the concept nodes in the taxonomy only based on the surface names of each concept. They usually use the word to back or fast text models to directly generate the embeddings. Uh, and this kind of representation, representation cannot, rep uh, cannot uh, represent the uh, semantic features of each concept. And also they cannot represent, represent the hierarchical information from the taxonomy. So that's why we use this kind of uh, uh, embeddings to uh, do the contextualized embeddings. We will first extract the, the non-overlapping paths from the root to query node and also the path from the query to leaf nodes. And this path will convert them into the sentences generation. For example, if you want to generate the embeddings for this concept node, and from the root to query node, we can generate two paths, which is electronic devices to desktop and then to disk, and also the devices to smartphone and then to disk. These two sentences will be considered as the ascendental pseudo sentences and convert into the certain templates from our predefined templates. In this, in this case, we will generate the sentences like electronic devices, smartphone is a superclass or is a parent of disk. And then we also generate the descendental pseudo sentences uh, from the uh, path from query to lift nodes. In this case, it will be the HDD is a child or HDD is a subclass of disk. 
These sentences will be fed into the prediction language models, uh, such as BERT and CYBERT, and we will generate embedding for the given concept node. Then in the following two modules, uh, we will uh, further leverage the structure information from the taxonomy, uh, from the both vertical view and the horizontal view. In this sequential feature encoder, we will utilize the uh, structure information from the vertical view, which is to encode the taxonomy structure through the vertical path. And this path is randomly selected from the taxonomy given the uh, candidate positions. For example, here, uh, the yellow node and the red node are the uh, candidate positions, which is the can candidate parent and the candidate child. And we will uh, randomly select the path that contains both of these nodes to, uh, from, the graph, uh, from the taxonomy. Uh, and for, for this candidate parent P and uh, child C, we will apply the LSTM encoder for this path to generate the embeddings from the vertical view. And in the horizontal view, we will consider the siblings of each candidate positions, uh, which is the which are the green nodes from the taxonomy. Since uh, we argue that the siblings are also very critical uh, parts and contains a lot of important information to represent the candidate positions in the taxonomy, but it's also in, impossible to consider all the siblings for each position because uh, there might be some node in the taxonomy that contains uh, more than a thousand nodes. Therefore, uh, we adopt the attention modules to, to the random selected siblings from the candidate positions. And here's the formulas to uh, generate the embeddings from the, uh, from the attention modules. Then the, after generating the embeddings from the above three modules, uh, we will get our final representations of each concept node in the taxonomy. And this embeddings will be able to represent both the semantic feature and also the structure features from the taxonomy. And then we follow the intuitions from the TMN, which is the taxonomy completion via triplet matching network from the last year AAAI conference. We will compute the relatedness between the current node and candidate positions from two directions. We can see here the NQ represents the current node and MP represents the current node. In the First three score functions, uh, we adopt the neural tensor model to calculate the relating score between the current node and the parent node, child node, and also C of MP represents the uh, sibling sets. We consider the uh, fine grained relatedness between the current node and this three respectively. And then we also consider the relatedness between the current node and the candidate positions in a general way, which is the coarse grained relatedness. In this uh, coarse grain relatedness uh, functions, we will consider uh, the Q with respect to the parent node, child node, and also the uh, sibling embeddings uh, in, in general. And also we adopt another primal uh, score functions, uh, which share the same supervision signal from the S4, but they uh, concatenate the H1 to H4 in general to compute the relatedness score. After introducing all of our modules in our framework, uh, we will move on to the experience part. We have conducted extensive experiments of our framework on the taxonomy completion task in four large real world data sets from the uh, CS and psychology domain and also the non and verb, verb from the WordNet data sets. We can see uh, that uh, our framework can outperform the baseline methods by a large margin in terms of all evaluation matrix. And here, taxon in which S is to remo remove the uh, sibling attention module for faster training because in the large data set, the training time will be become very slow. In the ablation studies, we also uh, conduct experiment, uh, experiments to examine our performance in taxonomy expansion task. In the three selected uh, tax taxonomy expansion framework, uh, we can also discover that we have better performance in terms of uh, may, uh, in terms of all the evaluation metrics. And then in the second studies, we uh, examine our sibling information, uh, which is the horizontal uh, encoder. We, if we do not have the attention module to encode the sibling information, and we directly add the sibling information into our uh, uh, first part of the embeddings. We can see that the 
blindly adding all the siblings into the in balance will produce a lot of uh, noise information, which prevents us from getting the accurate uh, matching relationship between the green node and the candidate positions. And in the final studies, we uh, further examine our effectiveness of the sequential, sequential encoder for the feature aggregation in the taxonomy. In the Taxo Expand paper, uh, they proposed to use the positional graph attention network to do the feature aggregation. Uh, however, we found that uh, simply using the positional graph attention network will not be able to further improve the uh, performance of our LS10 encoder. Since uh, the primary reason for this uh, to happen is that uh, the graph encoder will also consider the structure of the taxonomy in a whole. And uh, it will not be able to uh, find the very specific uh, structure information from the taxonomy, while as time encoder can better represent the path, path uh, information in a vertical view. So that's why the LSTM encoder can be uh, can be better in the uh, combination of LSTM and also the uh, position graph encoder. In our case studies, we can see that uh, we compare with the taxon rich and TMN, which is a very strong baseline models uh, in the taxon completion and also the taxon expansion. In the selected case studies, we can see uh, the two positions will be predicted in a very high ranking by our framework. Uh, like the two position, positions are la labeled in red. And we can see in four cases, the two positions will be uh, ranked by a very high, uh, very high in our model, while the TMN may perform very unstably in many, uh, in many cases. And also in some, some places, it, when text on English cannot perform well in the, uh, when they do not uh, completely accurate in the, uh, in the ranking and predictions, we can see the uh, predictions generally follow a very semantic uh, consistency in the Candidate positions and the current nodes. So that uh, in this case, uh, we can save a lot of human uh, supervision after we get our predictions. And uh, almost all the uh, results we get from taxa image makes sense to the uh, general common sense. So in conclusions, uh, we can see from our experience and our uh, implementation of our framework. Taxonomy which achieves better performance in both the taxonomy completion and taxonomy expansion tasks. And from the first module, which is the taxonomy contextualized embeddings, we can see the language models based embeddings are very powerful in representing the conceptual and semantic meanings of the of each node in the taxonomy. And in the second and third part, we can see the horizontal and vertical encoders they can better leverage the uh, structure and taxonomy uh, hierarchical information from the uh, candidate positions. Uh, so that's why we can come to, uh, we can also incorporate the complexity uh, structure information uh, for, into our uh, models. And in this way, we can make better and more accurate predictions. And that's all for my presentations for our work. Uh, and thank you, uh, thank you for watching. I have also enclosed the QR code and the link to our paper and our code. So anyone who is interested in this work can take a closer look and also uh, um, welcome for any uh, further discussion about our official directions and also our work. Uh, thank you very much.